A while back, Microsoft added a new power plan they call Ultimate Performance. Some of you have asked if it's worth using. So in this quick video, I'll give details of what the Ultimate Performance Power Plan is and what it does. I'll also show you how to make it visible in your Power Plan settings and enable it. After that, I'll show the results of the benchmarks I conducted and let you know if the so-called Ultimate Performance Mode is worth using. First, I'll show you how to enable the Ultimate Performance Power Plan. Let's open the Settings app. You could use the Windows key plus I or go to Start in the lower left and select the Settings icon. Go to System. In the left pane, select Power and Sleep. Over here to the right, click the link for additional power settings. In the new window, click Show Additional Plans. If you don't see Ultimate Performance listed, I'll show you how to add it coming up. If it's visible for you, click on it to enable it. Here's a brief description for you. Ultimate Performance is intended for high power systems. As Microsoft describes it, this new plan builds upon the high performance plan to further eliminate micro latencies associated with fine grained power management techniques. In layman's terms, Ultimate Performance reduces the warm up period your hardware needs to consume all the power it wants at that moment, which will improve the speeds on computers whose hardware constantly goes in and out of an idle state. For example, with Ultimate Performance enabled, you'll experience less lag if you do 3D design or some other task that can cause irregular heavy loads to your CPU, GPU, or other hardware on your system. One downside to Ultimate Performance is that it will consume more power. On the laptop, it's advised to keep it plugged in while this is enabled. For those of you that don't see the Ultimate Performance plan, let's close out both settings windows. You can add it using either the command prompt or PowerShell as an administrator. The command line is the same for both. For this one, we'll use the command prompt. In the lower left, go to the search box and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. Type the following command, power CFG space dash, type the word duplicate scheme Space, E is in Edward, 9, A is in Apple, 42, B is in Bravo, 02, dash, D is in David, 5, D is in David, F is in Frank, dash, 448, D is in David, dash, A is in Apple, A is in Apple, 00, zero dash, 03, F is in Frank, 14749, E is in Edward, B is in Bravo, 61. If you don't want to type this out, I'll post this in the description if you'd prefer to just copy and paste it. When you're done, hit enter on your keyboard. Then close out the command prompt window. Now when you go to the list of power plans, ultimate performance should be listed. Prior to making this video, I used the 3 d Mark computer benchmarking tool to determine the performance of the 3D graphics rendering and CPU workload processing capabilities using each of the power plans listed earlier. The higher the score, the better performance. The variables were exactly the same for each test, with no other program running. Here's the results. In Power Saver mode, the overall score was 7,925. Switching to the Balanced Power Plan saw a huge jump to 8,597. A surprising result with high performance is that the score of 8,682 was only a slight increase over Balanced. And the Ultimate Performance score was only 37 higher than High Performance. So if your system needs an extra boost, yes, the ultimate performance might be worth using for you, even though you might not notice much of a difference over the high performance power plan. And remember that using ultimate performance does consume more power, so the trade-off might not be worth it. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you've used the ultimate performance power plan, let us know in the comments if you've noticed any improvement over the other power plans available. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with the latest in technology here on TechUmbo.